This is Matt Shell from Differential Pressure and today we're going to make a video in response to a customer's request about calibrating some of our gauges. We're going to focus on one quick adjustment you can teach your quality control departments if you ever have a gauge that is out of calibration. There are a few conditions that the gauge must meet for this to work. Um, it must be an inline gauge, which means you're going to have ports located on the sides of the gauge. And then the other condition is related to how the gauge is calibrated. If the data follows a constant pattern, this means you might have data like this. You can see the data points are steadily above what they should be. Or like this, these are data points steadily below what they should be. We will be able to fix this with the adjustment I'll teach you. In other words, if you have data points that are too high and too low on the same gauge, this adjustment's not going to work. Let's take a look at what we have to do. You can see that this gauge is a bit high on all the data points, and it should be recalibrated. Now to do this, we're going to make one simple adjustment. We're going to take the gauge, locate the low port. Inside the low port, you'll see a flathead screw and we're going to use a flathead screwdriver to turn it either clockwise or counterclockwise. If the data points are too low, you want to turn it counterclockwise. If the data points are too high, you want to turn it clockwise. This will adjust the spring on the inside of the gauge and will bring the gauge back into calibration. Now we rehook it up and see how calibration looks, we'll see that the data points are right on. We see this issue sometimes due to shipping. Um, the gauges get tossed around in their boxes and sometimes when it gets to the end user they are just a little bit out of spec. If the gauge is too far out of spec and you cannot bring it into calibration to meet your standards, you can always send it back to us and we will calibrate it same day.